Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, your sister's ass, the Pony Express, Vic DiBetetto here at the Levitt Theater in Algonquin, Maine. My first time I've ever been to Maine. I've never been this far up north in the United States in my life. And I, once I got here, I ate lobster. I've been eating lobster since I got here. I ate so much lobster, I could feel it crawling down my intestines, ready to come out. Anyway, this is the Levitt Theater, 8 o'clock show tonight. We are sold out. And this theater has the history behind it. Let's go inside. Beautiful theater. Look at this. Real kept well all these years. This guy doesn't work here. I, he's a homeless person. He just he, th he thinks he works here. I have no idea who this guy is. Check out the lobby. He's got the old fashioned popcorn machine. The history here, and here's the owner, Harry, and he just told me that, is that, your, what's your name, by the way? Peter Clayton. This is Peter Clayton, the owner of the Levitt Theater. Could you tell the fans what you just told me about Betty Davis? Betty Davis used to be a lifeguard in a Gunkwood, Maine. She, there's pictures of her in the old lifeguard boat and everything. Amazing. Really nice. Now, what year was this, this thing built? Built in 1923. 1923. <laughs> Just as old as the Yankees. Oh, did I say Yankees in Maine? I'm sorry. Okay, let's go in here. Look at this, huh? We stopped over in North Carolina, South Carolina. No. The original seats. Look at these seats. The original seats and floors from 1923. It even still has the hat rack. They used to, the, the men used to put their hats. They got the hat racks. Hat. Rack. Anyway, figure I had a couple of beers. Anyway, little Sam Adams and Jack Daniel, they're, they're arguing right now. Anyway, look at this theater. It holds 600 people. We're sold out for, for tonight. If you can see all the way in the back, in the balconies, even got a bar. That's the bar from The Shining. And uh, that's the big screen on stage. They're going to they're gonna show my vignettes before the, you know, the show. As the people come in, they're going to start showing my vignettes. The Bread and Milk, the uh, Justin Bieber, the Driving to Florida, Kanye West, all those. And can we turn the lights on back here? I'm going to take you backstage. I mean, look at this. 1923. Are you kidding me? Look at this place. Look at that. And look at the... This is the uh, backstage. Check this out. Look at this. Nothing has been touched since 1923. Well, I'm sure these, these Christmas lights, I know. But uh, the original... Look, look, look at this. The original wood... I love gigs like this. I love the history behind, you know. It's just it's more exciting. Let's, let's go on stage. Look at this. Look. Nice, huh? Look at this. You kidding me? Look at this. All right? Okay? Check. We'll do a sound check. We got to work on that. Anyway, it is now five after seven. The show's at eight. Who's performing in front of me? What are their names? You don't know? Not even the people that work here know who's opening for. That's all right. I got it. But uh, that's it. Got the stool. Look at this. This is just amazing. Algonquit, Maine. Can't wait to come back. I mean, it was worth the... Why am I talking into the mic? This is ridiculous. Nobody... It was worth the trip. It was worth the seven-hour agita and the stress, the traffic from Central Jersey to Maine. This is just... You know, it's just... Gigs like these make me love what I do. Hang in there, folks, because the best is yet to come.